District Chief of Staff for the 9th Coast Guard District. Uh, we all remember him as the commanding officer of the Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac when the uh, new Mackinac made its first visit to Chicago as the Christmas tree ship in 2006 and then again in 2007. In eight years of commanding the Great Lakes Cutters throughout some of the most notorious winter navigation seasons on record, Captain Little spearheaded improved efficiencies to fleet icebreaking, buoy tending, and waterways management procedures to facilitate iron, ore, coal, and heating oil shipments in Lake Michigan. At uh, treacherous Strait Mary's River, the Straits of Mackinac, and uh, the Lake Superior Whitefish Bay. And prior to his assignments as District Chief of Staff, he served as the Commander Coast Guard Sector Hampton Roads, Portsmouth, Virginia. And while there, he was instrumental in the response and port reconstru uh, reconstruction efforts uh, to Hurricane Irene in 2011 and Sandy in 2012, as well as the service's response to two major catastrophic events working alongside the Haitian port director following the January 2010 earthquake to reopen Port-au-Prince Harbor and also in the Gulf of Mexico following the deep water horizon spill in August of 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Captain John Little. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, it's a true pleasure to be here. I'm Captain John Little, and I'm the Chief of Staff of the 9th Coast Guard District, and it's an honor to be back in the windy city of Chicago, one of my favorite port cities uh, in my years serving up here, truly is. Uh, I serve for Rear Admiral June Ryan, the 9th District Commander, and representing her today for this special remembrance. I'd like to welcome everyone to this uh, beautiful ceremony. What a great day we have here. Uh, and, and especially those amazing volunteers, you see the trees being unloaded now, these amazing volunteers who coordinate the distribution of 1,200 trees, that takes some doing. And over the years of doing this uh, Christmas tree event, over 19,000 trees have been distributed. So somebody's got to do that, and that's the work by those volunteers. So great job to them all along the waterfront here. All year long, the Maritime Waterfront community, the pros here along the shores of Southern Lake Michigan work to make this dream a reality, delivering trees to so many in this city. I offer my heartfelt thanks to the Chicago Yachting Association, the Yacht Clubs of Chicago, the Chicago Council of the Navy League of the United States, the International Shipmasters Association, the Chicago Marine Heritage Society, Friends of the Marine Community, the Coast Guard Auxiliary, and Big Red here, Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac. I wish to thank each and every one of you because it's your hard work throughout the year that raises funds for these trees to be cut in the UP and, and along the shores of Northern Lake Michigan to be delivered by Commander Tasikas and his crew down to this lake shore. Again, this is one of my one of, this was one of my favorite things to do every year uh, aboard Mackinac. And I know uh, Commander Tasikas and his crew feel the same way. But it's a true privilege to be back. You know, close to this very location years ago, brave sailors worked these docks to make a year-round living. Pretty tough in the Great Lakes. Bulk commodities ships, shipped during the summer transitioned to other products as the, as the lakes froze. Such products and cargoes as Christmas trees. This was one of the last trips for the Ralph Simmons as she was due to take 5,000 trees from Manistique down to the, to the port of Chicago before the lakes froze up. It's an honor for me to be back here in that remembrance. I remember the first time I came down Lake Michigan and stopped and paused over the wreck of the Ralph Simmons and what a solemn moment it was for me and my crew to remember that howling gale that must have been that night that cost that ship and its crew but to have this remembrance every year by the team of the International Shipmasters and the Christmas Tree Committee and the Executive Committee, it's, it's really something special and it's a godsend for this community and I'm really appreciative. You know, Captain Shinneman and his crew would marvel if they knew their work would continue to flourish aboard Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac, handling their duties now. Commander Tasikas, welcome back to Chicago. Your ship and your crew look magnificent 
it's great to see Big Red again along the Chicago lakefront. I believe that Captain Shinneman and all of those sailors represented by the statue before me who forged the living on these waters, pristine but often treacherous and certainly unforgiving, couldn't imagine the realm of the importance to the maritime community and maritime mobility that they forged back in the day. These Great Lakes now are North America's economic engine with an economic output of nearly $5 trillion annually. On a global scale, the Great Lakes alone would rank as the fourth largest economy in the world if it was its own country. Accounting for over 25% of the combined Canadian and U.S. economic activity while supplying 46 million jobs or nearly 30% of each nation's workforce. Think about that, folks. How significant. Keeping, keeping this economic engine running and the nation safe and secure is the primary reason that the Coast Guard exists here along this, this lakefront. And its role now is more important than ever. But we can't do it alone. It takes all the community of Chicago, the first responders, the Marine Police, the state, local, and federal agencies here. We work together as a team and stand together to make sure that we have a safe and secure waterway. You know, I serve for a phenomenal leader, Admiral Jean Ryan. And she has three guiding principles. Honor the member, honor the mariner, and honor the memory. This event allows me to do each of, uh, each of that, uh, each of those uh, principles. And honoring the member, this is the Coast Guard members, active duty, reserves, civilians, and the Coast Guard Auxiliary who served back in the day, who forged our legacy, and those who serve now, and those who will soon be joining our workforce. We're honored today to have the Coast Guard Academy Glee Club here. This is certainly honoring the member. It's great to see them here, and I'd like to give them a round of applause. I look forward to seeing them out on the decks of ships soon. Honoring the member also means honoring those that work to make this area safe in the Coast Guard, and that's Captain Amy Kokenauer from Sector Lake, Michigan, joined by Commander Ryan Manning, the, the commanding officer of Marine Safety Unit. Chicago. These two individuals and their team of over 20 stations, search and rescue and law enforcement, maritime, uh, maritime commerce and mobility, safety and pollution response, working with the Marine and Air Police and the Coast Guard Air Station in Traverse City. They keep this area safe and it's honoring them is one of the reasons that we're here today as well. And it's truly a privilege to see them here. Thank you for being here. Okay, honoring the Mariner. Again, the people that made this event, that makes this event, this is, I believe, the 16th year, happen. Again, the International Shipmasters Association, the Chicago Yachting Association, the Christmas Tree Executive Committee, those Mariners, these are professional Mariners that work day in and day out along this waterfront. They make this event happen, and I truly wish to honor them, and thank you for all that you do to make this event successful. And then honoring the memory. Obviously, we're standing next to the statue here and what a treat it is to do that. And we think about the Ralph Simmons and the, the Captain Richard Schumann who lost his, who lost his life and, and that of his crew doing something that he loved for so many years. That statue represents so many mariners who lost their lives here and this, this remembrance is part of this ceremony. It's a truly privilege to be here to be a part of that. It's very sobering. In closing, let's be mindful of the fact that there are still many service members deployed around the world standing the watch in dangerous environments. These men and women of the armed forces are like no others in the world. They volunteer to serve. They understand and accept that service comes with inevitable sacrifice. To protect us and defend our nation, they repeatedly tread in harm's way and if necessary, give their lives only in action against our enemies but often in the greater service of humanity. Our world is a far better place because they chose to serve others. Today I ask that you keep them in your thoughts and prayers and hopes for a safe return. Again, thank you for all the members who made this a reality. I hope each of you have a wonderful holiday and a very Merry Christmas and Semper Paratus, and thank you. <laughs>